Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. This is a reading that is dedicated to the sign of Leo. My dear friends, Leo, this is a reading. Um, it's a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. So it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to have your own reading, um, anything whatsoever, my information is right below into the um, description box and uh, you can contact me from there. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This reading I would like to specify is really for those of you who are not sure, you don't have that confirmation, you suspect that something is going wrong, that somebody is cheating, but you don't quite know yet. So this is the reading for you. Um, I'm using three different decks. I'm using a Lenormand, I'm using two oracles, and I'm going to conclude with a heart and soul. So to keep it nice and uplifted. So I'm going to remove here for the moment. I'm just going to place onto the side the oracles. We are going to move along over here with the steampunk. And let's go see what the steampunk has for us. We have a bear. We have a letter. We have a coffin. We have flowers. We have a maze. We have a scythe. We have some dice. I have a man. I have a well. I have a boat. I have a woman. And I have a woman. Okay, so I clearly have to say here that um, there is some cheating that is going on within this relationship and it is even really just depicted within this. Now, I have two women. That being said, it could be um, it could be the, the, the reverse. OK, this could be men here um, and the man could be a woman over here. So all this to say that this is really a question that there is more than two people within the relationship. There are three of them. So um, I do have uh, one who's in the middle here. And uh, this one who was in the middle is quite new, hasn't been there for all that long. So this is the one that this would be the, the cheating one, if you will. And um, she's really quite interested. And she is quite aware that you are there also. That being said, I feel as though you clearly know, I feel as... Um, I feel that you clearly know that something is going on and you just don't have that solid proof yet. And I feel as though um, he or she over here is making a decision, is trying to decide what it is that they're, they are going to do into the future um, because they know that they can't continue this forever. They know that if they do continue this and you do find out that it is going to be over. Um, and so it is quite a dilemma for them right now. So I feel as though this relationship altogether is really about a throw of the dice. So anything could happen. It could be a yes. It could be a no. Um, it's really going to depend a lot about when you are going to find your proof, if you continue seeking for it, and if they have already made their their, uh, their decision. Um, so that's going to play a lot within the cards. I do have to say for the moment, though, if the situation does stay as it is, um, this uh, your partner keeps on seeing somebody else. Well, at that moment, I have to say that the cards are depicting that this is going to be final. Whenever you do find out it is going to be final, you are going to um, you're going to cut this relationship out of your life. Um, right now, you are feeling like you're caught into a maze, and you're really just trying to get out of it. I feel like you've been into this maze for for a little while. You've been wondering about this for a little while to see are they cheating? What is going on? And it's something that has been bugging you and you just, at some point, I think you weren't really doing anything. It was just really wondering. I think now you're a little bit more actively searching, but you still don't have it. I mean, you've asked them the question and they have said that no. Um, but that being said, you feel it. You feel it inside. You feel that gut feeling and you have to follow it. That gut feeling is uh, rarely wrong. Let's put it that way. Sometimes it gets confused with the heart and the soul and, and the mind, but um but usually it's pretty right. So um, I have to say you do have great strength. You do need to be careful. You do need to hold on there. Um, you are, I see that there are gifts that are going by. I see that there, there are, there's, there's things going by. Like it's depicted as flowers here, but there's gifts. There's offerings that are being given to this other person. Um, you are going to be receiving um, the news. You're going to be receiving 
maybe this is how you are going to find out. Maybe you'll find out some message or a message that could be sent into a flower. Or maybe you'll discover this message um, on a texto or something that you're going to be receiving. You're going to be receiving some type of notification which might just clear everything up for you within this um, relationship. So the relationship is slowly... Um, moving into the uh, into the opposite side so slowly you are both um, leaving each other I feel but I do feel as though if you did want to stay together that you could stay together um, I feel like there is some anger there's some frustration there's some non-trust there's a lot of problems going around but nothing that I don't believe that you could not fix um, because I do believe that the love is still there but as I said here we are still wondering what we are going to do so let's move on over um, and see what the other cards have to say. Dawn, let's begin with the romance. We have deception. We have free yourself. I have very soon, and I have retreat. So, clearly here, um, this deck is also saying it. There is deception. So someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Someone is not expressing their emotions. Someone is not saying what they really want to say. Um, that being said, um, I do have also a free yourself. So it's time for you to take your power again. It's time for you to become who you usually are and not who you are now, which is kind of spying on people and trying to figure out and doubting on people. This is not who you are um, so it's time to free yourself from this to become who you are again within, inside. It's time to heal. You need to do this sometime soon. You can't let it drag on for much longer. And if necessary, take yourself a little break and just take a little retreat. Time to disconnect from um, the whole situation altogether so you can try and assess um, what needs to be done within this relationship. And now we're going to move on over to the final deck which is more guidance, but this time it's guidance. Um, it's not from the romance. It's really about the angel answers. So angels are answering you. We have be assertive, communicate clearly, recovery. I have meditation to bring answers and look for a sign. So um, quite clearly here again, you do have to, okay? First of all, you have to look for those signs, okay? You do have to find that proof because you can't go and accuse somebody and then, you know, not have any foundation to this. So you do need to find your, um, you need you do need, I'm sorry, to look for that truth. Um, everything is going to come, but within the next, the near future. So it's not going to be very far off. Um, everything is going to become clear to you. If you do do any type of meditations, or this could be absolutely fantastic for you to really get in touch with your intuition, with your inner self. Um, it could give you some nice answers. Very important this time, okay? You're, you are going to have a period of recovery. Now, may it be that you're sticking in the, in the situation, you're staying into the relationship, and you're going to try and build from that you are going to have a period of recovery. If you don't say, you're still going to have that period of recovery. So it's really important to have that forgiveness of yourself, of everything that has happened around so you can move on so you don't get stuck into this cycle again. Um, very important to communicate clearly exactly what it is you want and what you expect out of the relationship if you do stay within it. It is time for you to be assertive, okay? Um, so I am going to move on now to my heart and soul doesn't want to come all right so do not give in to fear and doubt courage is called for now face your fear look at things objectively you are safe and all is well fill your heart with love beyond fear love is guiding you and is urging you to break free you will succeed and on that note, I, uh, if you do have any questions, please do uh, contact me. Um, you please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do wish you a fantastic day. I thank you for being there. Thank you for listening. And I will see you tomorrow with new messages.